What's up everyone, your Golden Edge crew is here at T-Mobile Arena. He's Dave Shane, I'm Ben Goetz. We're here to recap the Golden Knights 7-3 win over the Pittsburgh Penguins. This is a really fun one. And uh, Dave, it was punctuated by a milestone, the third hat trick in Golden Knights history. This one for Jonathan Marcheseau. Yeah, first one for him as a Golden Knight. I think second of his career. Uh, I think, you know, probably the main thing to take away from this game, other than just the entertainment value of it, is the response from the Golden Knights, especially in the second period after the Penguins scored a couple early goals in that second period, made it 3-3. Knights were able to kind of rally up, respond, a couple goals from Jonathan March. So uh, the second one was really nice because it actually looked like he was going to backhand the rebound and he kind of spun and barely got enough on a uh, on a forehand. It kind of trickled over the line before uh, before the Penguins could clear. But, you know, obviously anytime the Penguins and, uh, and Knights get together, it's all about Marc-Andre Fleury. He certainly got a lot of the attention. But, you know, I think the offense and the first line breaking out a little bit was – big story for the Knights here. Yeah, huge. And of course, yeah, obviously a big game anytime the Penguins come into town. Sidney Crosby got his first goal against former teammate Marc-Andre Fleury tonight. Fleury said he would probably hear from Crosby after that one, but he also had a nice save on Crosby that he kind of was taking some bragging rights in after the game. Uh, this game was also big because it was the return of Colin Miller, defenseman. He had missed 13 games tonight. It's the first 13 games he's missed as a Knight in his career. And Dave, uh, two assists for him tonight. He looked pretty good upon his return. Yeah. I mean, you almost didn't notice him, which is a good thing, I think, anytime you have a defenseman. But I think, you know, maybe the one thing where we did notice him was on the power play. Uh, in that, you know, first period, they were able to uh, score a power play goal. Shea Theodore obviously getting the goal. Um, Colin Miller not necessarily factoring in there. But just, I think, his, his presence, they've been one for 30 coming into that on the power play. And to be able to get an early one, to be able to kind of get that out of the way, uh, to have Colin Miller and his shot back there, I think, is a... Uh, you know, only going to help uh, going forward here. They got a couple more games before the All-Star break. Uh, we'll see what he can, uh, what you know, sort of impact he can make on that. And then obviously going forward, he'll uh, he'll be a key contributor for him. Yeah. So the Golden Knights have two more games left before the All-Star break. They play against the Minnesota Wild here on Monday, and then close against the Nashville Predators on Wednesday. Stay tuned to ReviewJournal.com for all your coverage of those two games and for all our stories from tonight's game. Once again, a 7-3 win for the Knights over the Pittsburgh Penguins. For Dave Shane, I'm Ben Goetz. Thanks for joining in.